Hey everybody, final thoughts time for Salton Sea. And I gotta say, folks, I love this new idea. I mean, probably one of the coolest new ideas in worker placement I've seen in quite a while. The idea that you can buy and sell worker placement spots that are better than what you have available to you by default. Multi-use worker placements that become an investment, that I've got this handful of cards. And yeah, I could go on ahead and just do a regular drilling action, or I could play this card that lets me do an enhanced drilling action action that is much more efficient for my overall you know, development engine, but it ties up my capital. And now that's money I don't have on hand anymore. And in this game, money gets really tight really fast because it is crazy expensive to generate lithium, which, you know, um, depending on who you talk to, is maybe one of the cornerstones of a potential green future for our planet. And so this is an incredibly important and topical and timely subject matter um, that the developers over at Tavir have put into a game, and I really appreciate that. I've actually been to the Salton Sea uh, in real life, which is a barren, desolate wasteland because of decades of mismanagement, let's say. And, um, you know, it's, it's really kind of interesting. The, uh, you know, the, whatever ecosystem there is there is pretty much all but blighted and wiped out. So that makes a strong argument for, hey, if we're going to do, um, you know, uh, harmful lithium brine extraction, we should do it here in a, you know, where we're kind of double dipping. I mean, if the place has already been, you know, really ravaged, well, let's do it here rather than some kind of pristine new area. Let's try to protect what we have and, you know, double down on these areas. And apparently the Salton Sea has one of the biggest lithium reserves in the world. So that's why this is such an important thing to be looking at. Um, of course, the counter argument is that, uh, hey, it's on the edge and there are still species that make their home here that are trying to have a, a valid ecosystem and um, this is much more easy to push over the edge. So that's why we shouldn't be going here. But, um, you know, if we do want to have, if we want to transition away from fossil fuels, um, you know, switching over to lithium, which no matter how you cut it is significantly less impactful than traditional mining operations, well, these are the types of tough questions that our species has to answer. And I think it's very uh, cool that a game is tackling it too. Although, just I'll jump to uh, one of the things I was saying. While it's really cool that this rulebook has an probably one of the biggest thematic um, you know intros ever, and this is basically just a peon to the potential upside of lithium mining. How it is a uh, two for one because not only does it generate the lithium we need for you know energy storage to make other green uh, you know opportunities more viable like wind and solar and all that. Because hey, when the wind and the solar isn't there. We store the energy. How do we do that? With lithium. Of course, there are other options that are being pursued as well. But regardless, um, lithium can be a big part of the overall strategy. And this talks about, in, again, in great detail about how you get two for one because part of the lithium extraction and generation process also generates geothermal energy, which can be a huge source of power too. So it's very cool and exciting. And I loved reading about all that. But I kind of wish... There was another section here that talked about... Now, let's talk about the other side of the coin, about the environmental impact, and specifically related to the Salton Sea, a region of Southern California that has been blighted by decades of human mismanagement to begin with. So... I appreciate that DeVere, um, you know, talked about one side of the coin. I wish they'd had a deeper dive into the other side. And I kind of wish that for the game, too, that maybe there was a little bit of um, talk about the environmental impact of our activities in this game, which the game does not touch with a 10-foot pole. Those, um, you know... Those are presumably worked into the simulation. Hey, one of the reasons it's expensive is because of you know in a strict environmental regulation. Fingers crossed, hopefully, that our governments actually oversee and make sure that these um, extractions are done uh, in the best way possible. But it would have been nice... For, for how much time and effort the game put in talking about the positive upside, and the positive upside is huge, I would have appreciated um, you know, looking at the other side of the coin too. So that's um, one ding against it. But, I mean, heck, if you don't care about thematic elements and you just want to know about, hey, tell me about the gameplay of this really cool modern Euro economic simulation, um, you know, industrial simulation, well, again, it's phenomenal. I love it. I love, love, love this idea of I've got all these awesome worker placement spots, but I need to spend them all. To, now I've just lost all of them. I'm like, including my super big one. Oh, I hope I can get that one back before it disappears or, you know, or, or something like that. 
This idea is so cool. Um, you know, and now this, this could have been applied to anything. This could have been running a grocery store, or um, or, or heck, running a, you know an environmental rescue uh, agency. It could have easily been themed to this. But again, the uh, salt and sea lithium mining is a very interesting subject matter, which again they could have drilled down a little bit more. But again, the gameplay is fantastic. You have a lot of variety. It does a great job of setting up you know clear objectives that everybody's chasing after, so you get a different. Um, vibe every time you play that, oh, you know, this time I'm not even going to bother with investing in the other corporations because there's no, um, you know, upside at the end of the game for it. I really want to make sure I drill deeper than anybody else. Um, and so I'm going to invest that way. And, but uh, everybody else can chase after that too. Or are they going to chase after different things? Um, and managing your hand of cards, spending them as capital, but holding on to them so they are more powerful worker placement spots that underpins everything is just absolutely brilliant. All that said, I do have one complaint about the gameplay too, and I mentioned a little bit in the run-through. At the end of every round, cool. I think it's very, very important, especially at lower player counts, that hey, the rightmost card of each of these uh, market rows goes away. But they don't have it just go into a discard pile. They say, take them and anything else, shuffle them up, and put them back at the bottom of the deck. And that is such a pain in the butt to do over and over again. It just gets to be a real bummer. Especially because in a two-player game, you're not going to go through all these decks anyway. There's just no reason for it, and I don't understand why it's here. It just introduces some fiddly make work at the end of every round, and this game can go fast. Sometimes rounds take a long time, sometimes they're over pretty quick. And and so that was kind of annoying. I have to be honest, we just got to the point where, to heck with it. When you spend your money, just don't put them in a discard pile. Just put them out. And if we ever empty one of these decks, we'll reconstruct the deck there. Because the rules as written slow the game down for no good reason. And just introduce a little bit of fiddliness that I don't think needs to be there. So... That is my one complaint. It's very easy to fix with a house rule um, that we ultimately, just to be able to enjoy the game, had to implement for ourselves. If you pick up this game because you're interested in the subject matter, or because you're interested in really cool, fresh, new approaches to worker placement, well, I might suggest a, a simple little house rule just to make the game flow a little bit more smoothly because everything else about this game is crackerjack, top-notch stuff. Again... Devere, if you ever reprint, please consider dropping a paragraph or two uh, in an ode to how awesome lithium, lithium mining is, to add a paragraph or two about the problems inherent and how we have to make sure our elected officials keep an eye on this. And um, don't just say, oh, it's a miracle panacea that will solve all our problems, because it's not as simple as that. And you put in so much effort, you could just put a little bit more. But again, hopefully for a reprint down the road, or if nothing else, just put in some additional readings for folks who might be more interested. On the whole, I got to say, though, uh, Salt and Sea is a very, very impressive design. And that is the run-through, folks. Thanks so much for watching. Have a very nice day. Talk to you later. So long. Uh, bye bye